Welcome to another Replay Guy Hooray channel, otherwise known as the ARG channel. Hi, my name is Mike, and we are back for game two of the 73 vs. 98 History Maker Baseball Anniversary Set Tournament. Tonight will be game two of the Kansas City Royals franchise. Last night, the 1998 Royals pulled off a upset with a 5-3 to three win over the 73 Royals. And they will be looking for the upset series win tonight. While the 73 Royals will look to send this to a game three tomorrow night. The 98 Royals are sunny in harmony tonight, and in the pregame role, Pat Rapp, the starter, is also going to pick up the quality of being hot for this game. For the 73 Royals, they are stormy and semi-dissonant, and in the pregame role, they became fully dissonant on this game only. And Mangori, the relief pitcher, is still hot for this game and a game three tomorrow. That result was rolled yesterday. <clears throat> the game is in Kauffman Stadium. It's artificial turf, semi big from both sides of the plate. The umpires for tonight. Home plate umpire from the 98 season will be Daryl Cousins. He is semi-lenient, semi-questionable. At first base from the 73 season, Dave Phillips. He is respected. Second base from the 98 season, Derwood Merrill. He is respected. And at third base from the 73 season, Ron Luciano. He is semi-respected. Well, let's go to the starting lineups for the 98 Royals. Johnny Damon is the designated cold batter, leading off, playing center field. Jose Offerman at second base, batting second. Morris, the left fielder, batting third. King, the cleanup batter, bat, uh, playing first base. Jermaine Dye in right field, batting fifth. Dean Palmer, playing third base, is the designated hot batter. He homered last night. Pendleton will be your DH, batting 7th. Sweeney, the catcher, batting 8th. Lopez, the shortstop, batting ninth. On the mound will be Pat Rapp. He went 12-13 and 13 with a very high 5.30 earn run average for the 98 Royals. He comes in with qualities of semi-struggler, semi-flash, semi-dynamic, he is a semi-icon pitcher for the 1973 Royals. Leading off, Freddie Patek at short. Cookie Rojas, second base, and he will be the designated Cole batter. Otis in center field. Mayberry, cleanup batter, playing first base. McBray in right field, batting fifth. Patrick, the DH, batting six. Sweet Lou Pinella in left field, batting seventh. Shaw, the third baseman, and the designated hot batter, will be batting eighth. And Fran Healy will be behind the plate. On the mound, Steve Busby. He went 16 and 15 with a 4.23 earn run average. And he is semi-flash, and he is a semi-prospect pitcher. So we are ready to go here with the game two. Busby's done with his warm-up pitches. Damon steps in, and here we go. And it's a one four six. Is he flash? He's semi-flash. Did not get the decided eye. Is Damon a champion? He is not, and he is going to ground out to second base for the first out of the game. 
brings up Offerman. A three three six ace or dynamic? No. Is Offerman a sad sack utility or patient? He is semi patient. The decided die says yes, and that is going to be a strikeout. Two down. That'll bring up Morris. And that is a 114. Is he fresh? He is. He is going to line out to short. A 1 2 3 inning for Steve Busby. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Leading off, Eddie Patek against Pat Rapp. And it's a 2 3 6. DB control or dynamic? He is semi dynamic. He got the decided eye. So Patek is going to ground out to the pitcher. And then Rojas is going to come up and he is going to ground out to short. Just like that, there are two outs. And then I'll bring up Otis. 115, he is fresh, and that is going to be a pop up to third base. And that is a 1 2 3 inning. So both pitchers come out sharp and retire the teams in order. Game to one, no score. King leading off the first baseman, clean up batter. A 166. Is he a whiffer? King is not a whiffer, and that is going to be a ground out to third. One out. And for Jermaine Dyes at bat, we will go to the mini chart player experience. A 3 3. Is Die a prospect batter? He is a semi prospect. The decided die says yes, and he is going to bounce the ball right back to the pitcher, throws over to first, and that'll be two outs. Dean Palmer, designated hot batter, he homered yesterday. And it's a 1-3-3. Three, three. Is Palmer a slugger? He is not. And that is going to be a fly ball deep to left field for out number three. Had he been a slugger, it would have been a home run. But just missed. Knocking it out of the ballpark. He has hit the ball hard this series. And we go to the bottom of the second. Clean up batter, Mayberry. Leading off. And that's a one four six. Is he flash? He's semi flash. Did not get the decided eye. Is Mayberry a champion? He is not, and he will ground out to second base. One out. Up comes McCray. And that's a three four five iron catcher. Sweeney is semi iron, did not get the decided eye. Does McCray have a good eye? He does not, and he is going to strike out. Two outs, and for Kirk Patrick, we will go to the baseball now chart. And that's a 1 3. Is it a cold pitcher? No, and that's going to be a fly out to center. Another one, two, three inning. It's both pitchers. Extremely sharp. And we've played two innings. And we've got no score. And we've had no base runners. So both pitchers looking really good here. Both pitchers with high earn run averages for the season. So are looking pretty good today. Got their good stuff working. Pendleton leading off here in the third inning. And that is triple four. Is Pendleton a scrapper? He is a scrapper. And a 
semi-scrapper that decided I says yes, and that is going to be a solid single to left field. And Pendleton becomes the first base runner in the game. I'm going to bring up Sweeney. A 2-5-5. Is Sweeney a home run king? No. He will fly out to left field. One out. The number nine batter, Lopez, coming up. The 2-4-6. Is he a control pitcher? No. Eager or sad sack for Lopez. He is semi-eager. The decided eye says yes, he is. And he will pop up to third base. And there are two outs with Pendleton still on the first base. Lead off batter, Johnny Damon, the designated Cole batter. And that is a two, three, four, runners on base, we do. We are going to plate drama. Three, three, control pitcher, no. Otherwise, way outside, look out, and that is a wild pitch. Pendleton scoots down to second base. And we now are going to go to the team chemistry chart for Damon's at bat. And it's a 2-6. It's the batting team harmony. They are fired up batter, chopped a base hit. And let's see. That is... Not going to be able to get Pendleton in because he's going to have to stop at third. It was not hit very hard. So the runners were on first and third with two outs. Two hits in this inning. That'll bring up Offerman. Offerman is struck out his first time. An opportunity here to drive in a run. Runners on first and third. A 3 3 6. It's not an ace or dynamic. Is Offerman a sad sack? Utility or patient? He is semi-patient. And he is going to go down swinging for the second time today. And that's going to end the inning. Chance to score and they lead two runners on. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. Leading off in the bottom of the third for the 73 Royals, Sweet Boo Pinella. And it's a 1-2-4. Is he a control pitcher? He is. No, nope, I take that back. He is not a control pitcher. Is he eager? Is Lou Pinella an eager? He is semi-eager. And yes, it's going to be a pop-out to first base. One out. That will bring up Shawl, who had three hits last night. He is the designated hot batter. A 2 4 4. Is Shawl a champion? No, he is going to ground out to short. And that is two outs. And then we'll bring up Fran Healy, the number nine batter. And a 1-4-6. Is he flash? He's semi-flash. It is a strikeout. Healy does not have a good eye. And that is going to end the inning. As Pat Rapp has retired the first nine batters in this game. And we go to the fourth inning with no score. Leading off in the fourth will be Morris for the 98 Royals. It's a 3-5-6. And Morris is a left-handed batter. Busby is a right-handed pitcher, so they're not the same. Is Morris utility or sad sack? 
He is not. And that is going to be a base hit for Morris. Hit number three for the 98 Royals. So lead off batter on first. Up comes King. And that's a three, four, six. Is King Eager? He's semi eager. They decided I says he is. And he is going to fly out to medium center field. One out. Brings up Die. Die bounce back to the pitcher. And that's a one four five. And that is going to be a ground out to third base. So that is going to be a five, four, three. Double play to win the inning. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. No score. Go to the top of the order here in the fourth inning for Quartex. He bounced back to the pitcher his first time up. And we have a 1 2 5. Is, is Rap a struggler? He is a semi struggle. The decided die says yes. It's going to be crack. And we are going to the fence chart for Patek. And he is a scrapper. So we will use the scrapper column. And two, that is a base hit. So Pat Rap, who would retire the first nine batters is a leadoff hit to the leadoff batter, Freddie Patek, hit number one. Rojas, the designated full batter, coming up. A 255. Is Rojas a home run king? No. And that's going to be a fly out to left field. One out. We'll bring up Amos Otis. He popped up to third his first time up. And that's a one, two, five. Is he a struggler? He is a semi struggler. The decided die says yes. And again, we are going to go to the fence chart for Otis. Amos Otis is a semi-home run king. Let's see. He is going to be a home run king for this at bat. Anything but a one, and it will be a home run. Gone. It is out of here. Amos Otis with a home run to left field, a two-run homer, and the 90, 73 Royals have taken a 2 nothing lead as that struggler, struggler quality has come back to haunt Rap here in the fourth inning. And just like that, it is 2 nothing. Up comes Mayberry. It's a two five five. Is Mayberry a home run king? He is a semi home run king, and that is going to make him a home run king. And we have a deep fly ball to left field, going, going, going. And Morris looks up. It is out of here. Mayberry. Goes back to back with Amos Otis, and just like that, it is three nothing. As Pat Rap is getting wrapped right now here in the bottom of the fourth, he retired the first nine batters, and now he's in big trouble here. McCray coming up. A one three four gold catcher. No, is McCray a champion? 
He is not. We have outfield drama. Four five is the center fielder gold. The center fielder is Damon. He is not gold, and that's going to be a sinking line drive for a base hit. And that is three hits in a row. And we are going to go to the baseball now uh, player experience chart next. Rap is now a full struggler. And we've got a 2 6. Do we have an icon pitcher? A semi icon did not get the decided eye. And the batter is going to drop a single over to second base. McCray is going to go to second. And just like that, the fifth hit of the inning. And it looks like that is it. Pat Rapp is out of the ball game. He ends up going three and a third innings. He looked so good for the first three innings, retiring the first nine batters, and then it's just fallen apart here in the bottom of the fourth. And coming in to pitch, it is going to be Ricky Bonus. He is a right-handed pitcher, and his qualities are star, semi-flash, semi-dynamic, and he is an icon pitcher. So, Bonus is looking to get this inning over with. he got runners on first and second, and one out, and he is facing Lou Padella. Pinella with a 145. Well, it's a good thing we took out Rap because it would have been a struggle of quality. So we don't have to worry about that. And it's going to be a ground out to third base. And just like that, bonus comes in, throws one pitch, and it's a five, four, three, double play to end the inning, and at the end of four, the 73 Royals lead three to nothing. Ricky Bonus comes in and does his job. Hits the ground ball, double play. It could have really been a big inning. All right, top of the fifth. Dean Palmer, the designated hot batter. A 345 iron catcher. No, he is not. Does Palmer have a good eye? He does not. And he is going to strike out. One out. And we are going to the baseball now chart. For Pendleton's at bat. He singled back in the third inning. And he's two die. And the side of that, I to get it right here. Three five. Is he a hot batter? Well, he had a single last time up. Side of die. He's semi hot for the first five innings. And side of die says, yes, he is hot. And he is going to bounce a single into a right field for his second hit of the game. And with one out, Pendleton on first base. Sweeney come up. That's a 256. Is he a champion or a patient? He is not. We have infield drama. Four five is the shortstop iron. The shortstop is Patek. He is semi gold, so no. He bobbles the ball, but. Makes the throw to first in time. And that is going to be 
the 6-3 out. Pendleton is going to get down to second base with two outs. And he'll bring up Lopez. A 1-5-5. Five, five. Is he a home run king? No, he is not a home run king. He will fly out to center. That is it. No runs. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The 73 Royals continue to lead 3 nothing as they try to even this series with a victory tonight. Ricky Bonus coming in for his second inning of relief will be facing Shaw, the designated hot runner. And it's a 1 4 5, and he will ground out to third base. One out. Number nine batter, Healy, struck out his first time up. A 2 2 5. Is he a star? He is. That's going to be a ground out to short. Bonus with two quick outs here in the fifth. Facing Partek, who is one for two. And a one, five, six. Is Partek a whiffer? He is not. We have outfield drama. And one, five. Is the left fielder gold? The left fielder is not gold, and that is going to be a base hit to left field for Freddy Partek. His second hit of the game. And with two outs, that will bring up Rojas, the designated cold batter. And that's a 1-2-5. Is Rojas patient? He is not, and that is going to be a ground out to third base. Goes the short way over to second. That will end the inning. No runs in. And at the end of five, the score remains 3-0, 73 Royals. Go to the top of the six. Busby. Facing the leadoff batter, Damon, who is one for two, and the designated cold batter. A 1 1 5. Is he fresh? Well, um, he's still pitching a shutout. He's using, but he is still fresh. And he is going to pop up to second base. One out. Whoops. All right. One down. Offerman up. He is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. A 1 3 6. Is he a whiffer or cold? Um, he is considered, let's see, cold, so he will strike out again. And he has the hat trick. Two outs. Offerman 0 for 3. So three strikeouts. Morris coming up. One for two. So Morris with a four, five, six. Is he patient? He is not. He is going to fly out to center. Quickly a one, two, three inning. And we go to the bottom of the six. Amos Otis is going to be leading off. He's going to go to the team chemistry chart. Otis, one for two. A big two-run homer. Last at bat. And that is a four-six. Is the pitching team dissident? No. So we have infield drama. Four-six is the shortstop. Gold. He is semi gold. The decided eye says yes. And he is going to throw Otis out. One out. That'll bring up Mayberry, who went back to back with Otis back in the fourth inning. He is one for two. 
And that's a 246. Is he a controlled pitcher? No. Is he eager or sad sack? Okay, there he is. Neither one of those. And he is going to walk. So with one out, Mayberry goes down to first. And that'll bring up McCray, who is one for two. Four, four, six. Is he a star? Bonus is a star. He is going to ground out to second base. And Mayberry is going to advance over to second with two outs. And that will bring up Kurt Patrick, who is one for two. And that is a two for six. Is he a controlled pitcher? No. Is Kurt Patrick eager or sad sack? He is not. And he is going to walk. So bonus has walked two batters here. And with two outs, he's running on first and second. Canella coming up, 0 for 2. Grounded out into a double play, his last at bat. The 346 is Panella eager. He is semi eager. The side dice says yes. He flies out to center field. And that ends the inning at the end of six. The score remains 3 nothing. So that is going to be it for. Ricky Bonus, they'll go to a new pitcher in the bottom of the seventh. For the 73 Royals, Steve Busby will trot out there for inning number seven. King up, over for two. And that's a two, three, four. Is that a hot batter? Nope. And he is going to pop out to second base, one out. Steve Busby, how's it going tonight? Only giving up four singles. Jermaine Dye comes up. 346. Is Dye eager? He is. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. Two outs. Dean Palmer coming up. 0 for 2. Designated hot batter. 246. Is he a control pitcher? No. Is Palmer eager or a sad sack? He is semi-eager. The desire to die says no. And Palmer will walk. So with two outs, Busby walks Palmer. And he's now going to have to face Pendleton, who is two for two in the game. Two singles. A one five six. Is Pendleton a whiffer? He's a semi-whiffer. The decided I say yes. And he strikes out Pendleton to end the inning. And the score remains 3-0. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And the 98 Royals will send out a new pitcher. And that pitcher is going to be Scott Service. He pitched yesterday and was not very effective despite having the semi-star, the flash, the control, and semi-dynamic and being an icon pitcher. I mean, he's got all the qualities to be good, but he struggled yesterday. <clears throat> he's going to try and hold this team to no more runs. Hopefully his... 98 Royals can get back in the game. He's going to face Shaw, who is 0 for 2, and the designated hot batter. A 115. Is he fresh? He certainly is, and he's going to pop Shaw up to the shortstop for the first out. Healy coming up. He's 0 for 2. And that is triple fives. Is he an ace or star pitcher? He's a semi star. Did not get the decided eye. Is Healy a scrapper? No. And guess what? Fran Healy is going to hit one deep to left field. Going back is Morris. He looks up, and it is out of here. Fran Healy, the number nine hitter with a home run. That's the third home run of the game for the 73 Royals. And they now lead 
four to nothing. So start service. Comes in and looks like he hasn't recovered from last night. Partek coming up. Partek is two for three. A one four six is he flash? He certainly is. It's a strikeout. Does Partek have a good eye? He does not. So that is a strikeout. That is two down. Now comes Rojas. 0 for 3, designated full batter. A 1 2 4, is he a control pitcher? He is, and he grounds out to short. The service makes the one mistake, the home run to Healy, and we go to the eighth inning with the score the 73 Royals 4, the 98 Royals nothing. Steve Busby will be facing the number 8, 9, and leadoff batter. And it's a 1-3-4. Does he have a gold catcher? Healy is semi-gold. Got the decided eye. It's going to be a strikeout. Unless Sweeney has a good eye, he does not. And that is out number one. Steve Busby. Now facing the number nine batter. And that's a 1-2-6. Is he fresh? Or he's semi-fresh? Did not get the decided eye. Is Lopez a sad sack? He is not. And that is going to be a single past second base. That is the fifth single given up by Busby. And with one out, we're getting some action in the bullpen. Johnny Demon coming up. He is one for three. The designated full batter. A 135 is um, to the unusual chart. And we are going to be going to the memorable plays chart. Here with one out. A 56. It's the first baseman iron. Mayberry is not iron. And that is going to be an out with Lopez going to second base with a ground out to second base had to range over toward first to get the ball and the only play was at first base so with two outs Lopez is on second base, and Offerman coming up. He has been awful, awful Offerman tonight. 0 for 3 with 3 strikeout. The hat trick. Can he get the golden sombrero? A 1, 2, 6. Is he fresh? He's semi-fresh. He did get the decided eye, and that is a line out to second base. That is going to end the inning. And we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth with a score of 4 0. 73 Royals leading. Scott Service coming out for inning number two. He'll be facing Amos Otis, who is one for three with a two run homer. And that's a 1 4 6. Is he flash? He is. Strikeout. Oh, this is not have a good eye, so it will be a strikeout. And that's one out. Up comes Mayberry, one for two. He has a home run and a walk. And that is a two four five. Is he a hero? Mayberry is a semi hero. The decided eye says yes. And that is a base hit. For Mayberry. One out, man on first base, and McCray coming up. He's one for three. A two four four. Is he an ace? He is not. Is McCray a champion? He is not. That's going to be a ground out to short. Gonna get the fielder's choice. Runner out at second. 
two outs. And up comes Kurt Patrick. He is one for two. And it's a one, two, two. Is he a workman? No. Is Kurt Patrick a champ or a whiffer? He's neither one of those. And he's going to line the ball hard down to third base for out number three. At the end of eight, 73 Royals lead 4 nothing. Three outs away from evening this series at one game apiece. Steve Busby is going to go out and see if he can get the complete game. A 2 6 6 lead off batter, and that is a base hit. Morris gets his second hit of the night. All the hits, all six hits, have been singles. And with no outs, the leadoff man on, and there is warm-up action going on for the 73 Royals. King coming up. He is 0 for 3. A 5-6-6. Six, six. Does he have a good eye? King does not, and he is going to strike out. One out. And for Die, who is over three, we are going to the baseball now chart. A one one is it a cold pitcher? No, he is certainly not cold. And that is a fly ball to right field, two down, and one batter away from pitching a complete game shutout. Palmer coming up. He's the designated hot batter. 0 for 2 with a walk. And that is a 1, 2, 3. Both flash and fresh. He is not. It's a ground out too short. And that is going to end the ball game. Steve Busby with a clutch pitching performance. Gives the 73 Royals a chance to continue on as they even the series at one game apiece. 73 Royals hit three home runs, two solo shots, and a two-run homer. They had four runs, eight hits, and no errors. Kansas, 98 Kansas City, no runs, six hits, no errors. That was six base singles, base hits. Busby had one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts as he looked really good on there. It was a clutch performance by Busby. He gets the win. Pat Rapp takes the loss. And that is going to even this series up at one game apiece. So tomorrow night will be game three. And on the mound for game three for the 1998 Royals. Um, it is going to be Rosado, who was 8 and 11 with a 4.69 earn run average. And on the mound for the 73 Royals will be Dick Drago. He was 12 and 14 with a 4.23 earn run average. So should be an interesting game. Both bullpens will be probably active in that game. Uh, it's winner take all tomorrow night in this uh, tournament game. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please hit that subscribe and like button. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night with game three of this series. Look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. And I hope everybody has a good rest of the Friday night and a, a good Saturday. And uh, that's going to do it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.